today. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past on advertising, and I've said this before, that the reverse glass signs was the best signs money could buy. They predominantly started making these probably about 18, 1889, 1888, 89, and they probably made them into the 1920s. It was the best sign money could buy back then, and they're still the best sign money can buy now. Reverse glass is really jewelry for the walls. They had it in all the saloons. They did it for cars. They did it for medication. They did it for soda. And uh, the thing that what makes them so valuable is A, their beauty, and B, their glass. How does it survive all this time? How do, you know, most of them got broke, there's not that much around, and they were the most beautiful signs ever made. So what we have here is a uh, reverse glass Garden City brewery sign. This is a very nice sign because it has a tremendous amount of glue chip mirror in it. Just a beautiful sign, and this sign weighs, hold on, I just looked at that. This sign actually weighs 11 pounds, so it's like quarter inch thick. When I got the sign, it was unframed, so I took it to my expert framer and I had him put what I consider is a very appropriate frame. Once again, this is a beautiful sign. It's a nice size sign. It, I like it because it's linear. Uh, 11 pounds, this thing weighs, it's, it's, so I had it all done up really nice. Uh, I'd like to keep it. Uh, I love reverse glass, always have, trying to find it. And as you look on our site, you will see a few pieces that are available here. Looking forward, I'm gonna try to get some more Beautiful sign, you should get it. Has the hops, barley, uh, has the factory in it, all hand painted, reverse glue chip. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sign. So let us know, we'll get it boxed up and get it out to you. Dana, I'm gonna finish up my work here, buddy. It's a Friday afternoon, and I wanna say something to you. Is the guy in the painting back there a distant relative? <laughs> I've been looking at it all week, man. And, and finally, uh, Sam points out, goes, that kind of looks like Jim. <laughs> uh, thanks for the compliment, chump. I mean, champ. <laughs> there you go. That's my grandpappy. I've been, in the, I've been in the liquor business for a long time. These guys sell antiques. This is their store. We're picking. We're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.